This film continues where the shadow universe left off. We journeyed through the unseen architecture of reality, the invisible mass that anchors galaxies, sculpts the cosmic web, and quietly holds the universe together. For nearly a century, dark matter has remained a ghost, undetectable, untouchable, known only by the gravitational scars it leaves behind. But today, that may be changing. A new scientific study has revealed an unprecedented signal at the heart of our galaxy, a burst of high energy light emerging exactly where dark matter is predicted to be most concentrated. In this short follow-up, we'll break down the discovery, explain what the data shows, and examine whether this could be humanity's first direct glimpse of the invisible. Is this truly light from dark matter itself, or just another cosmic illusion? Let's find out. Now, Professor Tomonori Totani of the University of Tokyo has uncovered something new. Using 15 years of continuous data from NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, Totani identified a giant halo of high energy gamma rays emerging from the precise region where dark matter should be most concentrated, the galactic center. Many physicists believe dark matter is made of wimps, weakly interacting massive particles, heavier than protons, invisible to light, passing through everything everywhere. But when two wimps collide, they annihilate, releasing gamma ray photons at specific energies. Titani found exactly those energies. Even more remarkable, this gamma ray halo is 10 times stronger than previous signals seen near the galactic center. And it extends much farther than expected. No known stars, pulsars, or black holes produce gamma rays this energetic. Dark matter may finally be revealing itself through the light of its own collisions. But not everyone agrees. Professor Joe Silk, a leading dark matter researcher, warns that the signal may be premature. He argues the glow could come from a 10 billion year old explosion from the Milky Way's central black hole. That eruption created the enormous Fermi bubbles, massive structures stretching 25,000 light years above and below the galactic plane. The shock fronts from that ancient blast could accelerate particles producing gamma rays that mimic dark matter. Totani agrees the evidence is not yet definitive. If dwarf galaxies where dark matter dominates show the same 20 GV halo, it would strongly support the WIMP annihilation explanation. He remains confident future data will confirm it. If he's right, this would be the first direct detection of dark matter in history. <laughs> 